It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme tonight. It's the Bills and the Rams on Thursday night. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Charles, great to be here now in our seventh year together in the booth. Hard to believe. And we have an excellent kickoff to the 2022 NFL season between the Buffalo Bills and the defending champion, Los Angeles Rams. And let me echo your words. It is an excellent kickoff to the 2022 season because it's a special night. It's opening night. We play it on a Thursday, but how about this? The first time either one of these teams has played in this NFL opener since it was moved to Thursdays in 2002. And we know why the Rams are here. They won the Super Bowl last year. Buffalo, they're here because they're exciting. They are the favorite in the AFC. And remember, with the overtime rules of last year, <laughs> they might have been the team to get there if the overtime rules were existing then. So let's look forward to a great opener here. I'm excited. I know you are. Let's do this. With fall around the corner, football is back, America. And we're underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Matthew Stafford leading the Rams offense out there, and just as he did last season when he captured his first in the Rams' second Super Bowl title. Matthew Stafford's first season in Los Angeles could not have gone better as he proved to be the missing piece that brought the Rams a Lombardi trophy. It's a very well-deserved moment for the 13th-year pro who was 12th all-time in yards and touchdowns, but had never experienced a postseason victory before that season. Now, you just call him a Super Bowl champion, and boy, did he embrace the Rams' offense from the start with almost 5,000 yards. Trying to find cut, but it's intercepted. Jair Elo makes a pick, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Now here come the Bills, and you don't have to look hard to find their fifth-year star QB taking seventh overall back in 2018, Josh Allen. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's not going anywhere to start the night. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Singletary again. Eight yards down there, and now they're looking at a third and two. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On the counter, this is Singletary. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. 
the first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Singletary. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. They'll look to run with Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bills are on the board here first in the season opener. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Dome for a touchback. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is. And his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, here's Stafford. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. What a matchup here for our first game of 2022. The 103rd season in NFL history. And this is the first of 285 games on the schedule this year. Now both of these teams certainly hope to be playing in that 285th game. That would be Super Bowl 57 in Arizona. The Rams were able to raise the Super Bowl 56 banner before the game. Of course, they beat Cincinnati on this very field back in February to win that Lombardi trophy. Fielded just inside the 30. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out. Able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. Here's Allen on first and ten. And Davis has it over the middle. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Rush coming. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. And the Rams will take over here as they get it up to the 43 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. A little jet sweep to start the drive. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. There's Stafford. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Well, Stafford, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. Does the big boy have the juice? And this 
is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Bass on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, get man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Stafford throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That's now six dropbacks, six incompletions. Yeah, the defense has been pretty good early, but he's got to start hitting some of those throws. He's making them better than what they actually are. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. First down carry here for Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they go to work on a first and goal. They run here with Singletary. That's a gain of seven and will leave them with second and goal coming up. They go right back to Singletary. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the run. They really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try and run. Here's Singletary. Now he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bills are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. 
Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. They will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Bills continue to pull away here in this first half. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. out here inside the 20 good coverage as he's dropped at the 17 the Rams ready to go on offense still in the first half but this offense has struggled haven't really been able to get anything going not only in the points category but in the yards category let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive a carry by Henderson to start the drive and that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17 here's second and nine just a yard on that last run Here's Stafford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 22. And that pass, a big one for Matt Stafford, folks. He just went over 50,000 career passing yards. Just the 12th ever NFL quarterback to do that. The former number one pick in 2009 out of Georgia. And so durable, so dependable in his career. And what a mark for Matt Stafford. From the 44, Stafford into a double team and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick and a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. All right, let's go ahead and just add it up here. Their last three drives, two fumbles and an interception. Somewhere, to paraphrase one of the great coaches of the NFL, they're asking on that sideline, what the heck is going on out there? So after the INT, it's Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His bio rhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep is off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? <laughs> trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. And the Bills have recovered. about defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways but an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions time to readjust <laughs> yeah they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that they've got to look in the mirror and take a blame themselves and figure out how to not do it anymore
Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. So that's CD. That was impressive. He got out of three, maybe four tackles there on his way to the end zone. And a lot of times when you break a tackle or slip a tackle, it actually slows you down. That's what we were taught. If you don't make the play, make him stop his feet so someone else can get there and tackle him. But not here. He just kept right on going. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A nice tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. Here's the Bills kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Give the credit there to Jordan Phillips getting in the backfield for the tackle for loss. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Again, it's Henderson. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. The Rams on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now a first down throw, Stafford. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing is Stafford. And for the third time here, this half is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Well, there are several factors at play for why they face this deficit right now, Charles, but... Well, that's now three interceptions that he has thrown and just giving the football away pretty careless here in the opening half. Yeah, I know that all of our parents taught us to share as youngsters, but in this game, you don't want to share with the other team. Keep it for yourself. Keep it for your team. Got to cut down on all of those throws, those errant passes, if they hope to get back into this game. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. From the 41, Allen going right back to Knox and again a completion. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain there of 21 yards. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now. Might a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Now Allen again. 
And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Allen. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Well, the Rams going to take over late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't really. special one and love I know you do too love having it on a Thursday night yeah I think it makes it special right it makes it so that everyone is just watching all eyes on it on a special night like that I think it's gonna be a great season partner can't wait for the next several months we know there are gonna be surprises all the way through the season and before we know it we'll be talking about opening up on a Thursday night again next season so for the Bills it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for L.A., they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to turn it around next week as they head to...